Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I did my first full set. And for me, that's a huge deal because it's really hard working with my non-dominant hand. Like it was so much harder than I expected. I couldn't believe it, but I got through it. And I would say the time span was an hour. So this video is sped up a lot. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. You will hear my daughter in the background. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking through this video, trying to show you guys all my mistakes and all the things I did right. Okay, so I'm just applying super, what is it called? This is a Valentino acrylic powder, Valentino, Valentino Beauty Pure. I, uh, I let you guys know in my other videos that I use their entire um, collection of acrylic powders. So this one is the soft white, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is the soft white. I love how it looks so milky and cloudy. So that's why I wanted to choose it today. You know, I was feeling festive. And this acrylic brush is size 10. I purchased it from Amazon. I believe they're like, woo, they're a bit expensive. They're like $33. I'm pretty sure that's what I purchased it for. Um, so there we have it. This is my non-dominant hand, by the way. So I'm a righty. Um, it, this is like, I wanted to do, I wanted to get my non-dominant hand out the way so that I could leave the best for last. <laughs> if that helps. Did it help though? I don't know. We'll see. It was so hard doing my pinky. I don't know why. It just was so difficult. Any imperfections I'm going to cover, you know, I'm going to cover anyway. Okay. So I'm just freestyling today. I don't really have like a specific design in mind, but I'm just freestyling. I wanted to try a couple things I've never uh, tried before. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm trying to be as clean and neat as possible around that uh, cuticle. It is so difficult. The cuticles are definitely flooded. It's so lumpy. <laughs> it's okay though. You know, you got to point out your flaws. You got to point out your imperfections so you can get better. That's how it works. And you got to keep practicing. By the way, I am up at like literally seven o'clock in the morning. I woke up super early um, because yesterday my sister got engaged. So I couldn't sleep all night because I was just so happy for her. And then I woke up and I was like, let's do my nails. Because I finally wanted to do a full set. Because the reason I got into nails is because I wanted to stop going to the nail salon and spending so much money there. I was like, okay, I can do this myself. Why not? Because I, I honestly didn't have it. I didn't have it after a while. I was like, this is too much for me. So with that being said, I did uh, purchase a kit back in April started practicing by myself first i started with poly gel back in january and then i did uh i went to acrylic i was like maybe i'm ready for acrylic so i purchased that kit back in april and the rest is history still a lot to learn still a lot to improve on but i absolutely love applying acrylic it's really fun okay so this is where i got a little creative i've seen people do designs this way so I'm just like making two strips on a clear nail. Yeah, I'm making two strips on a clear nail. I wanted to outline those strips with gold. And it's weird because, I don't know, in the end it all came together, but I was looking for that cloudy look. That cloudy look I know I can do better with. Next time I'm just going to mix um the clear acrylic in the what's it called in the the soft white so i can get more of a cloudy look but i feel like it it it, it got the point across you see what i was trying to do you know what i mean and i'm using a smaller brush for this one because i didn't want too much gold around the uh as the lining so this is a smaller brush kit that is used for uh 3d designs 3d acrylic designs this is also purchased from amazon I'll leave that link down too. I pretty much get everything from Amazon. 
But you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start purchasing from small uh, businesses that sell. I know things will get delivered maybe um, not as fast, of course. But it's time to support. You know, we have to support small businesses. It's very important. All right, guys. So, look at those. Uh, look at those gold trimmings. The gold trim. When I buy a house, I want gold trim. If I have trim at all, I hate trim. It's tacky for me. Um, but when I buy a house and it has trim, I'm gonna paint it gold. Cause I deserve that. But look at that apex on that nail. It's nothing. It's literally no apex at all. Oh, I'm going to be adding clear over top. So, oh, look, look at me being so hard on myself. Guys, this is a voiceover, by the way. So I'm looking back at this video. But anyway, I'm going to be putting clear over top to encapsulate that and make it look, you know, glassy. I did leave the um, other finger just with the soft white ombre. I'm a soft white at the top because I'm going to put a nude over top of it. You know, to make an ombre nice and pretty. So, guys, still on the non dominant hand. As you can see, I'm trying my best. So, please give me props and don't be too hard on me. But who was that hard? Just moving on along. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. I mean, I feel like my apex could be more, you know, definitely, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So I really like the way that design came out. You just got to trust your instincts. You know, if you have a creative, anything creative in your head, just go ahead and, you know, put it on your nails. You never know what you're going to get. That's why I love nails. And I like to paint too, guys. I absolutely love using acrylic paints. It's just so relaxing, stress relieving. My entire nail room is used for me to relieve stress. All right, so we're continuing on to the next nail. Just doing an all white. We're gonna be doing it just like the pinky. I was having a little bit of troubles here because I feel like my beads aren't big enough. They could be a lot bigger. All right. More and more. Yeah, like that bead right there could have been a lot bigger. But I'll get better. Because I promise you, I will not go into a nail salon again unless it's my own nail salon <laughs> which I hope to have one day okay so that looks terrible but I'm going to be doing a lot of damage control on this hand don't worry I'll get it together just can't wait till we move over to the next hand where I am much more confident I kind of got sick of walking around with one hand done. I was just getting sick of that. I know that's how it is when you do your own nails, but damn, I just wanted, <laughs> I wanted one or two weeks where I did the full set. I'll get better at, oh, look, I love how I did the sombre. It looks so pretty, but I'll get better at doing my non-dominant hand. But I just wanted one or two weeks with a full set because I haven't felt this way in almost a year. I think I did a great job with the um, ombre. I did realize that I didn't add the clear uh, the clear powder on top, but I'll go back throughout the video and add that on there. Okay, so my favorite hand. Um. Same thing, I'm gonna stick to the same thing on each side. So 
So what do we have here? A dry bead. JK. No, this is a good bead. It's moving on down. I love working on my own nails. Something about it just relaxes me. But yeah, so I was up at 7. What was I saying? I was up at 7.30. Um, my sister got engaged. I was very happy for her. Couldn't sleep because I was thinking about it the entire time. Got up really early. Did my own nails. And it's best to get up that early for me because I'm up before my daughter. You know, I can't really get much done if she's awake. You guys probably do not care, but I do. So here's my mistake here. I feel like I could have put a lot more um, for the apex. So that's the same thing I'm going through on each nail. When on, you know, same problem I'm having is the apex. I just need to really build up, work on building up that apex. I'll get better at it, but I need to really work on building up the apex. Sorry, it's out of frame on some parts. But guys, look at that soft white. It's just so pretty. So milky. I love it. These tips are from Enail Couture. Uh, I purchased them. They took a really long time to come, but I love them. I didn't want a C-curve. Sometimes I just don't want that look. Like, I, I, I'm not a big fan of my nails curving. I don't know what it is. And nothing wrong with it if you like it. I don't know, but I just don't like it. So I'm like in and out, guys. I'm talking here, talking there, then not talking here. But you will see that this hand I'm much more confident on. There are some mistakes I, I'm definitely doing, but still, practice makes perfect. That's all I got to say. The tip. Oh, yeah. So while I was doing this, the tip was like super wobbly, like it wasn't staying on. So I was like, okay, let me add more acrylic. Maybe the, I'm pretty sure that's not the right thing I'm supposed to do, but the acrylic was already down and it wasn't even dry yet. But yeah, the tip started getting super wobbly. It was really annoying me. I'm going to purchase like a stronger glue. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Because the glue I'm using, I'm actually running out and I'm thinking maybe I'll give a different one a try. Like a stronger one. I don't know. Because I really want my nails to stick. I also use the glue from the um, Kiss kit. But I ran out. So, and that was my favorite. That was the strongest glue ever. But yeah, I just need a stronger glue. I can also start to like uh, get the tips down with, did you guys ever see um, other YouTubers do the uh, base gel and then they cure the tip onto the nail? That really holds up too. So maybe I'm going to start doing that. So same design on this hand as the other one. I was happy to do it again because I was happy that I executed it on the other one. <laughs> so all in all, this literally took me like 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to say to do a full set, if I ever start taking clients, will take 45 minutes to an hour and that sounds about right doesn't it it depends on what they're getting this set isn't that long it's like medium length i would say maybe long to some but you know to real nail wearers no it's not long this is a medium length set so i got the first part of the ombre down i'm gonna skip over to the pinky look at that thumb it's so cute isn't it Look at my thumb. Cuticles are perfect. Sometimes you got to step back and admire your work. Okay. So yeah, doing the pinky. The pinky, I feel like as I'm looking at it right now, 
I think I'm really good at laying acrylic and shaping it. But just like I said again, building that apex is one of my weaknesses. I'll get better at it. And when I finally get it, then I got it. That's it. Can you guys hear the, uh, can you hear the cartoons? Uh, obviously you're not. <laughs> it's funny how I'm asking like you're going to answer, but yeah, there's cartoons in the background. So I think that pinky actually looks good. The apex looks good for the pinky. Now I'm going to go back and do the clear. Oh, I'm doing the nude, I guess. I'm doing the nude. This is the glamorous nude from Valentino really nice they have a couple nudes in their collection I would say three or four I think yeah but they're all really good the glamorous nude is my favorite then there's the classic nude the perfect nude and something else I cannot remember if there is another thing but yeah so look at that ombre yes look how pretty that is I think my next set is going to be baby boomers I'm pretty sure I just I'm obsessed with that with that ring finger so we're putting that gold trim on I got some gold, I got some of the um, the flakes on my baby boomer nail. I'm a little upset about it. I tried to get it out, tried my best, but the acrylic wasn't dry and it really stuck on there. So I was like actually trying to get it out, but it's okay, you know, it's fine. We'll live. So guys, before like I use any clear, I'm learning, I said in my last video, Burping my brush is so important so that the clear does not have bubbles or anything. So you'll see me, like right now, I'm burping my brush. You'll see that I'm burping it. I'm putting it all the way towards the bottom. Right at that, yeah. So if you go back, you'll see that I'm burping it. But I put a lot of clear on here, but I feel like this was the perfect nail. It just was a great apex. You know what I mean? So there's a little bit of glitter and I mean, a little bit of the flakes encapsulated in there, but it's okay. We're all going to make mistakes. I did go back, like I said earlier, I did go back and put a clear coat on top of the other um, ombre nail on the other hand. All right, the clear coat on here is a little bit tricky because it moves around. Sometimes it moves around the uh, the flakes, but not too much, you know. My camera did pretty good. I mean, the autofocus is in and out but you know not as bad as it usually is all right there's flakes everywhere so
so obviously there's a lot of damage control, a lot of filing I'm going to have to do on um, some of the fingers and using my e-file and my manual file. These files are from Amazon. They're my favorite. So far, they, yeah, absolutely my favorite. It's the 8100 uh, grit. And then, yeah, it's really hard to file. Sometimes it's really hard to file my own nails. But I try my best. <laughs> Alright, so using my EFA, I'm just trying to smooth it out a bit. I know it's not much of an apex, but um, I'm just trying to smooth out the lumps. Make it nice and smooth on top. All in all, I'm very happy with... I'm very happy with the, the acrylic. I think I did a great job for my first time on my non-dominant hand. It only get better, like I said, guys. Don't worry. Okay, so it was really hard to do it on this hand. I'm like, obviously you can see I'm, I'm really struggling, so I didn't get much done with the e-file. The e I tried to go back and um, use the manual, I mean, use the regular file, the handheld file, but still it wasn't that much I can do. So, I mean, as you guys are watching with your own eyes, you can see that there's not much. There's not much happening here. I'm just like cleaning up the side walls and whatnot. It's just really hard. It's really awkward to hold. Like don't using my left hand. But I tried. I didn't give up. I kept trying and I kept trying. I was persistent and I said, I'm going to get this down. Oh, I'm so tired. All right. So I'm continuing to sharpen it up a little bit, straight it out. I will be adding like, you know, accessories and jewelry and stuff. So don't worry. That can really cover, it, cover the imperfections a little bit more. So guys, I was so excited to use this Pixie Dust that I purchased from Amazon. Um, this is my first time ever using it. I've seen people's horror stories where they actually dropped it all or something. So I, I transferred it over into this little container just so that doesn't happen. Um, the, these containers, again, purchased from Amazon. Everything I have, literally, from Amazon. But um, I tried to do, with, do it with a tip. But I just, you know, kind of sprinkled it over on top of the lid so I can catch most of it. And that way it was so much easier. It's just really pretty. I love the pixie dust look. So pretty. Okay guys, now these uh, holographic butterflies, I'm obsessed with them. I literally slapped them on everything. So I am going to put them on these nails. <laughs> uh, I think you may say the nails look perfect without them, but I always like a little bit extra in this, so I'm going to do it anyway. It was just kind of, it was really hard to get the, the holographic butterflies off of the paper. I used a tool, but it's still really hard. I don't know why. I'm just having a lot of trouble. The holographic butterflies, they stick. They actually stick, so I didn't need to put top coat on. I feel like I did more damage with putting top coat on and then trying to get move around and get everything. 
So I fixed it in the end, but still, it was really hard. Okay guys, so while we're coming to an end with all the uh, the beautifulness going on in this video, make sure you stop and subscribe to my channel. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends. Um, and this is the end result. I just think it's so pretty. I love, 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 love it. It was my first time doing a full set. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.